Okay, so to date what we've seen is how to create an empty Git repository and also how to convert an existing project that didn't have any version control into a project that now that is uh, now being controlled by Git. In other words, how to get it converted to a Git repository. But uh, at this stage, we haven't created or modified any files in our repository. And this is what we're going to do in this video. And also, once the file is created, what we're going to do is add it to the index or staging area and therefore mark that file for the commit phase. But we'll be doing those file commits in a later lecture. For now though, we want to limit the discussion to the techniques for adding artifacts, remembering that artifacts are just files and directories, to that uh, index or staging area using the git add command. All right, so let's make a start. All right, so I'm going to open my terminal. And I'm going to navigate to the folder that I've been using, which in my case is the home folder. So it's tilde slash and it's git dash repos dash home. And you can see that we've got two folders in there. And we're going to actually go into the blank repository, the blank repo folder that we created a few videos ago. Blank repo. And we've got nothing in there, bearing in mind that the, the .git directory is a hidden directory. So we won't see that unless we use the uh, dash a. All right, so let's uh, create a sample file that we can use to add to this repository. So I'm just going to create one and put uh, resume uh, of tim.txt. And I'm going to put something like, let's just type a couple of lines here. I have uh, 30 years of development experience. I have courses on um, Java, Android, and Python. Yes, I am a geek. Just a few lines of text there. All right, so I'm going to press escape, colon, and X, remembering that uh, with the by command, you uh, type I to start typing once you've typed in the command, and it's the colon to get to the command mode, and then you press X to save it. So now if we have a look, we should find that uh, we've got that uh, file there, resume of Tim, just confirming the contents. And there's the contents that I just typed in. All right, so let's go ahead now and add this file to the Git repository. So to do that, we type in git space add space, then we just type start typing the name of the file, R-E-S-U-M, and I can press tab to auto-complete it. And if I press enter now, there's no indication that anything happened. However, note that the hash that was uh, there in the prompt on the previous line has now changed to a plus. So that indicates that we've carried out a git to add operation successfully. So that's how you go about adding a single file but we can also do the same to multiple files in the index uh, and add them uh, in one go. So let's go back to the other folder that we're working on, which was the converted one that uh, we worked on in the last video. And I'm going to do a cd backslash, sorry, cd space dot dot. That takes us to the main folder there. Then I'm going to go into the, okay, go into the converted git uh, repo folder. Remembering that if we have a look here, this has got our uh, the Java project that we downloaded in the previous video. And we can do this, a similar thing here to add uh, the file, but in this case, we're going to add all the files, including all the subdirectories. We can type git space add space. Instead of listing a file name, we just press the, or just add the dot and press enter. And that's now added all the files into the uh, project. So at this point, in both cases, with both repositories, we've added either a single file to the staging or the index area, or we've added the entire group of files in the case of the converted Git repo. In both cases, they are at that index or staging area, but uh, they still need to be ultimately committed. So we're going to take up the uh, job of committing these files that we've now added to the staging area in the next video.